Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. This is too good not to show you. Um, this is a mowing uh, one handle, single handle um, posi temp. I think they call it posi temp. Hold on, I'll tell you. Yeah, it's a 1222 mowing posi temp. And I'm in the middle of the job, but I figured out a way to get this out. Now here's here's the issue, right? There's a tool. Here's the tool. It's a mowing tool to, to get these out. However, comma, this tool is meant to grab onto a, a screw hole. There's a hole, there's a screw not really a screw, it's um, a shaft that comes out and has a hole in the middle of it. Um, I'll show it to you right here. See that shaft comes out and there's a hole, a threaded hole in the middle of it. Well the tool is designed to thread into that and pull the cartridge out using the rest of the tool basically. So here's where we are. This one the shaft broke off. It's, it just broke off from you know this has been here about 20 years so it just broke off when somebody was using the shower. So how do you get this thing out now? They also give you a little plastic piece that comes with the new cartridge you're supposed to stick that in there and twist it side to side and that's supposed to move the cartridge out a little bit see because there's there's like an angle here there you can see it pretty good so as you move it left right left right left right it rubs up against this angle cut and that's supposed to pull it out well this plastic tool flexes so much there's so much wiggle and flex in it that it doesn't really do anything so froggy put his thinking hat on and here's what i came up with these are vice grip type pliers and they're like needle nose they're they're very small so they can get in there and grab that and then on top of that i put a crescent wrench so that i could have some leverage to move it left and right so what you want to do guys and gals is put this on nice and tight twist and pull at the same time twisting pulling whoa okay i didn't <laughs> i didn't mean for that to happen but anyway it doesn't change twisting and pulling and that cartridge is working its way out right now i need two hands to finish it off but i wanted to show it to you i wanted to show you the setup okay so let's see how it goes. Okay, so here's where we're at. It was going pretty good. It came out a little bit, and then all this plastic stuff broke. It broke off in little chunks at a time, so I kept trying to pull on it with the needle nose uh, vice grips and didn't work. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm trying to get that light on there for you. What I'm going to have to do is drill... I'm going to drill some holes around the outer edge, and that's to weaken it so that it doesn't have as much grip on this part. And then I'm going to drill the center, and then I'll use an easy out, or if I have to, I'll tap it, and then uh, put a screw in there and get it out. I, I hope I can get it out with the easy out. So that's where we're at now. Ooh, so here's where we're at. I uh, completely drilled out that section of the, the middle or the inside of the cartridge and eventually was able to grab here where that shaft used to be and I grabbed it and pulled it out and all I got was the inside of the cartridge. The outside, the plastic side, you can see it 
here, that white plastic side was still in there. So I was in a uh, up the creek without a paddle. So I went to YouTube and did some searching and I found a guy and I'm going to credit him. My hand is shaking, sorry. Um, two hands. I found a guy and I'm going to credit him and he gave me the idea to use a tap that was just the right size to go to the inside diameter of what was left of the cartridge and tap it in, you know, tap it a bit and then pull on it. He actually demonstrates a really old metal cartridge and this is a newer plastic or some kind of plastic cartridge uh, but the principle is the same. So I did have a tap and die set so I got my taps and I'll give you the size of the tap when I get it out and uh, I'm tapping it and pulling and tapping and pulling and as you can see and I didn't I didn't stage this it's coming out so you have to tap it until this starts to spin a little bit because there's, there's nothing it's it should spin around in a circle when it's brand new and in good shape so I tapped it started pulling on it a little bit and there we go now you want to be careful and examine and I'm showing I'm showing this to you if your tap goes through the plastic and starts scratching the inside of this you're gonna have a leak probably so you got to be pretty careful with this uh, but I got it out Woo -hoo! and uh, let me show you what I used it's an M, M18 by 1.5. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a glare. M18 by 1.5. And that will work on this uh, Moen uh, 1222. Okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put uh, the rest of this Actually, the rest of this you can see on my other video. This one was just an especially tricky, difficult, pain in the butt job to get this out because you know the, the tool wouldn't work because that shaft was broken off. And then, so I tried drilling it, I put vice grips on the stub that was left there. I tried all that stuff, and I eventually, as I showed you already. I got that piece out, but I still have to get this piece out. So now I'm good. I think my the fitting there is okay. I didn't scratch it or damage it or anything. So I'm going to put the new. Uh, sorry for the shake. I just this is this job wore me out. I will tell you that there's blood on the on the tile. <laughs> uh, my blood on the tile. So this wore me out. Uh, but um, I got to put this camera down for a little bit and uh, get it together so that the family can have water because once you open up this by the way you cannot turn the water back into the rest of the house because there's no shut off on this the shut off is the cartridge and the, the handle so anyway I'm happy woohoo and uh, uh, I'll get back and wrap it up to uh, for you guys and gals see ya okay I grabbed a little quick snack there took me three and a half hours to get that out <laughs> Uh, so I've already got all the reassembly highlights on another video. I'll just stick them on here just so you don't have to look at the other video if you don't want to. You got to clean out this receptacle where the new cartridge is going to go in because it's going to have hard water deposits unless you live somewhere where you don't get that. And you want all the rubber gaskets to seal. So I'm going to use a piece of light sandpaper, uh, very, very light and very, very easy, just with my finger to reach in there and, and brush away those hard water deposits. Okay, grease everything up good. I put my finger inside there and put some grease and then I greased all the black parts. You put it in there, don't twist it when you put it in, put it in straight. You can twist it a tiny little bit, maybe one or two degrees. 
I use this tool to push it in. This is the extraction tool, but I use it to push it in because it just gave me a nice place to push there and there and not have to push on the tabs. Uh, now I'm going to put the clip in and then we're at the handle. Uh, the clip went in super easy. I think it's because I shoved this in really as far as I could using that tool as I showed you. Um, so now um, I put the HC up and the smooth part of this according to the directions that Moen gave me. This is smooth and this bottom side has a little step on it. So that should give me hot and cold but if it doesn't you just have to take this out and flip it 180 degrees and put it back in. Okay let's uh, do the handle. Okay so this sleeve, this chromey chrome sleeve and this is, uh, they call it a temperature stop or something, but they all go together. Kind of obvious how they go together because there's a, a hump on the top that this has to go over. So it just all goes on like that. And then we are looking for what's called a handle adapter. And I've got two that are Maybe they're the same. I don't know. I'll have to take a closer look. Give me a second. Well, what came in the bag here came with the handle, so I'm not sure how I ended up with that other one, but I'm going to use what came in the bag, this new handle. And uh, so I'll show you how it goes. So it goes on like that. Okay. And then the handle is going to fit over this. Um, I've got to use, uh, I need a screw to screw this handle adapter on there. Uh, let me see, I hope they gave that to me. Hold on. So yes, they gave me a uh, stainless screw and it had a little bit of Loctite on it. So I screwed that in. This handle adapter obviously is different than that old one. Um, although the sleeve and the temperature stops look about the same, but uh, so don't don't mix and match stuff there. Just use everything that comes in your package. Uh, so now it's just hanging the handle on there and using the Allen wrench they provided and that set screw, which also has Loctite on it. And we're ready to turn the water back on and see if we got the hot and cold right. We got a 50-50 chance. Okay, there you go. I open the drain, I put the handle in off position, and let's go turn on the water. Alright, so, turns out I had the cartridge installed the right way the first time, but I had the handle the wrong way the first time. So I reversed it for no reason at all, but then I just, I just put it back now, and I put the handle back, back now. So, this should be off. That should be cold. That should be hot. Just like it's marked on this uh, cover here. So we're done. Uh, I'll put this up for you guys and gals, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll put a link to that other one, if you have the older style um, cartridge. And then maybe uh, maybe that uh, YouTube uh, producer will uh, put a link up to mine if he wants to. That's up to him. But anyway, um, all done. Thank goodness. This was like huh, longer than I thought it was going to be. But it's done. See you later, guys and girls. Have a great weekend. Froggy out. Bye-bye.